everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we'll be tackling another challenge from yukti ctf i'll be walking you through every steps of the way as we tackle this new puzzle get your tools ready and let's unravel the mysterious challenge now before we dive into the challenge let's get our essential lab set up if you are not sure how to do that you can visit blog.selfmade.ninja for a step by step guide i'll also leave a link in the description below Once you are set up come back here and let's tackle this challenge together after setting up our labs today we'll be solving the shadow market challenge which is rated as a medium difficulty mission so let's get started After setting up the mission I am going through the mission brief our task is clear we need to disrupt the shadow market just enough to throw the bad guys off our goal isn't to shut it down completely but to create a distraction but first we need to scout for open ports to see where we can make our move we'll use nmap a powerful network scanning tool to find any open ports or active services on the shadow market's server let's run nmap and check what doors are open for us to potentially disrupt their operations We are currently running nmap to scan all 6535 ports which may take a bit of time. Scanning these many ports is necessary to ensure we don't miss any potential entry points. Based on the result, we found that port 80 is open and it appears that there is a flask server running on the backend. Let's port forward this port and take a look at the UI. This will give us a better understanding of the server setup and potentially help us identify the vulnerabilities. After port forwarding and checking the server's UI, we tried the help command, which gave us a list of options like who am I, guns, credentials, malware, and others. Initially, none of these commands relieved anything significant. However, when we executed the others command, we encountered an interesting error message indicating slash bin sh. This clue suggests that the commands might be interacting with the bash shell. To test this theory, we tried entering a command. This command attempts to execute a non-existent file followed by a semicolon which allows us to then list directory contents regardless of the previous error. The result we successfully listed the files on the server, gaining our initial foothold in the system. It's time to focus on our primary mission to temporarily disrupt the web server as outlined in the mission brief. To do this, I crafted a payload to list all running process on the server. This would help us identify the process we need to target. Once we had the list of processes, I spotted the Python services running the flash server. Using a tailored command, then I executed a command to kill the Python process, effectively stopping the server and causing the disruption we were tasked with. Once the Python process was terminated, the server ceased operation and we successfully completed our mission. In doing so, we captured the flag, making the successful conclusion of the challenge. Thank you.